So we just arrived to the Palace Hotel de Vusaco. It's amazing, but before checking in, we're going to explore the area because we want to enjoy the sunlight as much as we can. So see you in a bit. We just arrived to Mata Nacional de Vusaco. And right now we are in Val dos Fetos and we are going to explore. This forest was built by the order of Carmelitas Descalços and it has species from the region but also species from all over the world brought by the Portuguese navigators. They built this to isolate themselves so they can meditate and contemplate. This is about 105 hectares and it has a wall all over it so they can assure that they were isolated. Inside the forest you can find many hermitage and chapels and little constructions that they made. You want to play? Yeah. I start. Okay. Okay, Queen's Gambit. <laughs> I won. No! <laughs> I was so focused on my game. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I don't want to play again. <laughs> but she usually wins all the games. No matter what game it is, she always wins. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is unbelievable. This looks like the most beautiful workout I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Never seen anything like this in my life. It's just amazing. And look, look at the walls. Amazing with all the decoration. So this place was a big surprise. It's beautiful. It's magical. How many stairs are here? The trees are huge. It's just beautiful. This is beautiful. It looks like they thought about everything. About where to put the stairs, where the, the water is going to run. It's perfect, it's amazing. It's coming for us. Bye, buddy. They have so many of these little details. You can feel the tranquility in the air. It's amazing. You can't hear anything. Only the water or the animals or the wind. That tree looks like a chair. It's too wet. <laughs> but you get the idea. Oh. It looks like. <laughs> okay. No, no. It's okay. Your choice. Don't worry. Do salt. 
so right now we're doing <laughs> Via Sacra, which symbolizes the pass that Jesus made in Jerusalem to the cross. And every little house like this symbolizes a step. So oh. each one of them are different inside and are referent to a different step. And then we are going to end up the walk in the high cross, so it makes sense. <laughs> So we've been walking now for half an hour, all the way up, and we recommend you to come with the person that you like because <laughs> it's a long walk to the top. We're starting to see something. We are seeing the light. Ooh. We made it. And now it's beautiful. Let's go to the high cross. <laughs> We came walking, but you can't come by car. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's uh, it's worth it walking. It's worth it, yeah. It's beautiful. We have that sense of accomplishment right now. I'm I'm sure that if, that it's not as hard if you go slowly, but we can walk slowly, so, <laughs> <laughs> so we always ended up like this. But it's a choice. You can go slowly. <laughs> And yes, we made it. Wow. Now let's go back and check it. The first sketch of a palace was a castle similar to the Frankenstein castle but it ended up being inspired by Tour de Blanc so it turned out great it's so beautiful and you can identify the neo manuel in architecture style easily it has a lot of details a lot of work some details of the portuguese discoveries so it's precious are you kidding me So this palace was built in the 1885 for the last king of Portugal. It was converted into a deluxe hotel in the 1917. And since then it's considered one of the most romantic, historical and beautiful hotels in the world. Its uniqueness is also due to its location that is inside this beautiful and huge forest that is called Mata Nacional de Busaco. Oof, I can say that I'm feeling very lucky to be staying at this palace. It's just one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been and it's in Portugal. <laughs> which was also built by the order of Carmelites Descalços. They were the reason why we have all of this here, the Mata and the convent, because first they did the convent and then to finish it and to have a space for total isolation, they also built these huge woods around. 
It's amazing for every perspective. I don't know where I like it better. So now we are inside the palace and we're going to do a little tour. Right now we are on the balcony of the king's room and we already seen the king's room and it's beautiful. He was smart. He got the best view, the amazing terrace and the room. It's amazing. And this is the Queen's room in the other side of the palace. It's beautiful. It's like you travel back in time when you're here. Like the furniture, every single detail makes sense. from the battle here in Busaco against the French Napoleon. So it's amazing how they have it here. And they also have tiles that represent that war and the Duke of Wellington, which was a huge figure on that war. It's a real royal palace, so there's not much more to say. It's not every day that you sleep in a palace. Did you sleep good? Yes. Like a queen? Yeah, but I'm more like a princess. <laughs> now we're gonna go and have breakfast. We just had breakfast. It was great, of course. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was. Do ate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had an omelette with him and then lots of bread, <laughs> croissants with butter and fruit, a tea. It was amazing. <laughs> we are ready. We packed to leave. So, pretty sad. <laughs> and the experience was amazing, sleeping in a palace. Yeah, it's super well preserved, it's beautiful, it looks like you travel back in time. Yeah. And it's a experience to have 
once in a lifetime, at least. Yeah, for sure. So now we are going to go back home, head back to the family. Let's go. Let's go back home.